Hello everyone, this is Jason Mutlak from Stellar Meet. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about how to use the Indie Virtual Box machine that is already we set up and it comes pre-installed with Indie, KSTARS and other tools. How to use this to develop and debug Indie drivers. So this virtual box machine is meant for anyone, anybody who is interested in developing new or debugging existing indie drivers. It comes with a browser that opens up to the indie technical documentation where you can check all the indie uh, protocols in detail. It also comes pre-installed with um, Visual Studio Code, and of course, it comes with KSTARS. Uh, on startup, if you want to update all the checked out indie code, so we have all the indie source code from GitHub is checked out to projects folder. So here, here we have indie and indie third party. And if you want to synchronize this in one command, you can just run update underscore indie and it's going to go and fetch the latest code, compile it, and then install it on your system. All right, let's stop this. And usually, um, if you want to debug either ND core or ND third party driver, what I would do is I would close this VS code and then go to like ND and just do code dot and then enter. And then VS Code will open here. So let's take an example um, here. In this is already done now. This is here we have uh, the tutorials, the examples that comes with Indie, and this is the simplest device. And we can also debug, for example, the telescope simulator. So let's start with the the most simple example of Indie, which is the simple device, right? So if we do this, we go and edit our launch JSON file in VS Code. So this is already pre-configured to uh, use Indie Server. And then in the arguments, we put the drivers. So we put the path of the driver we want to debug. And if you go to if you go to terminal, and then if you go to projects Indie, and then build then you can see where the path is. So this one is in examples, tutorial one. And here we can see the executable file is already here. So this is the complete path to the driver that we want to debug. And it's supported to do this relative to the build folder so that we can debug it, right? So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, you can either go here to the run debug and press debug or simply press F5. So now this runs in the server locally and it's running on only a single driver. So how do we connect to it from KSTARS? So from KSTARS, you can either use ECOS to connect to Indie drivers, but ECOS requires a camera. The minimum requirement is a camera. So here we don't have a camera. So the other way is to go to tools, devices, device manager, you go to the client tab and here let's add a remote indie server which would be running on our local host it's running on the same machine so here we can call it uh, indie testing for example and this is local host because we're connected to uh, the server that was started by vs code here and the port is 7624 it's already added here let's go ahead and connect to it and there we go. So now we're connected to our simple device. If we want to debug this, we can go back to uh, VS Code. And for example, I have here a breakpoint at connect. So you can toggle breakpoints. And if we go back here, if we press connect, you're immediately taken back here where you can do um, debugging. You have the, the call, the callback uh, trace and um, the variables on on the left side here. So to continue, you can either press continue or F5. And there we go. This is for the simple device.
Now let's go and explore a more complex driver like telescope simulator here. So let's close this. Let's shut down this. And so let's actually make uh, um, telescope simulator plus CCD simulator and focuser simulator all in one. So first of all, we need to know the paths for these ones. So this is going to be in build drivers. So telescope. And here we have telescope simulator. OK, so it's going to be build drivers telescope and this one will be in the simulator telescope and then put a comma and then we start adding the other drivers now the other drivers well you can actually go here and like change this for example ccd etc you don't need to do this because we're not debugging them so we can just simply put their names so simulator ccd and then let's change this to nd simulator focus right the the driver that you want to debug should be always the first driver here otherwise you cannot debug it okay so this is set so let's save and let's then press f5 to start it up all right so it started up and now let's go back to okay stars let's create a new profile let's call it in the dev now in the mode let's change that to remote and so what this means you're asking k stars that do not manage the indie drivers do not start or, or or stop them but connect to an existing indie server here the one we created here right connect to an existing indie server and use that so here let's add the, the drivers now telescope simulator ccd simulator and then focuser simulator and let's click save and then let's start and yeah this is simulation so let's connect optical trains all look fine and if we go here let's go north here we have our telescope simulator and uh, if we go back here then we can start putting debug points right so for example let's put a debug point in go to function in the sim and then we go to keystars and let's go here and then you're immediately uh, the breakpoint is toggled or activated and you can immediately see where you are in the program execution so the same principle actually also applies to in third-party drivers so this is now running in core but the same principle applies for in third-party drivers so let's uh, let's test this now let's now disconnect here and let's stop the server Let's close VS Code and uh, as an example, I want to go and test um, my tube cam, for example, right? So in the third party in the tube base, right? And then code dot and there we go. Let's just click build to make sure we're built. It's all right and let's open the launch json just to double check everything here all right so we don't have a launch json for this folder here let me make sure because yeah so make dire vs code right and then here we can copy the launch JSON from uh, Indy. So here. And now the difference is, now let's go to this project itself. 
so projects in the third party in the tube base we go to build and can we can see it's uh, everything is already built here so and i have a tube cam so let's just connect let's just do this so in the uh tube cam ccd right and here for example i can put a uh, telescope simulator and uh actually let's remove focuser just these two drivers right okay i think and here this is important because here we are we're in the in the third party there is no indie server so here let's just replace this with user bin in the server and actually you can use this also in the in the core because we're not debugging the indie server if you're debugging indie server it would be a different matter but we're not debugging indie server we're just debugging the drivers okay all right so this looks good and i think we can start the indie server now oh yeah before we do this so this is a virtual machine right and to give it access to hardware you need to specifically um, enable this so if you go to devices usb and here you see all the usb devices connected to my actual machine and i have quite a bit but this is the tube tube cam here right so now it should be available if we go to the console ls usb we can see this camera here available right so now let's press F5 and start. And also a quick way, even even without going to KSTARS, a quick way to check is to um, from console. You can just do indie get prop, and this would connect and then try to find uh, the properties that device is connected. So you can see here we have the TubeTech camera, telescope simulator. Uh, already connected now we can go back to case stars and uh, let's create a new profile I'll call it tube cam right same thing remote so tube tube cam and uh, telescope simulator let's save this let's connect and then here we select the camera and then we can go here and let me select a really short exposure and there we go we've got an exposure from the camera if we go back to vs code again the same principle you can go to the code and you can put breakpoints and you know do whatever you want in the code to develop and debug these drivers all right i think this covers most of the use cases for how to uh, develop and debug indie drivers using our indie development virtual machine i hope you find this useful let us know if we need to make any improvements for virtual machine to make your experience smoother thank you take care and clear skies